Hi, welcome to a new video, and in this one we're looking at the Challenger Pack DLC that's just landed for Assetto Corsa Competizione. Um, it's priced at uh, 9 99 um, in the UK, so I would imagine it's probably going to be around about the $10, 10 euro mark in other markets. And it adds five brand new cars to the main game. So what we get is one new addition to the GT3 class and then four cars from single make series around the world. So if we start off first of all with our new GT3 entry, we have the Audi R8 LMS GT3 Evo 2, which is quite a title. Um, and this is the car that's going to be driven in the 2022 season by Valentino Rossi, so former uh, MotoGP champion. What you get with the car is two liveries, um, so it is a little limited in that regard, but hey-ho. Um, and it's an important car. The Audi R8 LMS series, because there's been quite a few of them, has been hugely successful. It's won something like 83 driver's titles and around about 106 other championships victories, which makes it one of the most successful GT3 cars around. Um, you've got a 5.2 litre V8 kicking out 585 bhp. Um, north of 550 newton meters of torque and it's both stiffer and lighter than the outgoing model and to drive it's a really reassuring and planted car to drive likes to be pushed and it massively flatters the driver um, so it's a good solid gt3 entry and giving it a go you can you can tell why it's won as much as it has so that's our gt3 entry in the dlc pack if we then move on to our four single make series cars we start off with the bmw m2 cs racing um, so this is the new um, kind of single make series small BMW car. Um, previously you've had the M235 has fulfilled this role and we've got a huge number of liveries with this. Well actually we've got a few liveries and then lots of variations on one of them but it ends up giving you something like 27 different choices which is great. The car's running a 3 litre 6 cylinder engine mated to a 7 speed gearbox and it's probably the closest thing we have now in ACC to an entry level car. Um, it's nice to drive off coming off the back of say something like the R8 Evo 2 that I did it does feel fairly slow uh, which is what makes me say it's kind of like an entry-level car for ACC but having played around with it a little bit in some single make racing it does give you some really good close racing as well and you know you've got to work the sense of momentum on the car a lot more given that it's a lot slower than a lot of the other stuff out there and that becomes crucially important in single class racing so then moving on from the bmw we have the ferrari 488 gt3 challenge evo so this is the car that's going to be used in the upcoming Ferrari Challenge eSports series. And you get 16 liveries in there, although again some of them are just colour variations of the same liveries. Um, in this case we're kicking out 670 horsepower and 760 newton meters of torque from a 3.9 litre V8 engine. So adds an awful lot of poke in a very very light car um, and as a result it, it really is an incredibly agile and nimble car um, and pushing it to its limits it, it does become very challenging I suppose that's what they call it a challenge car I don't know um, but yeah it's it's great fun to drive really does allow you to throw it around but it, it's also even with the traction control on um, it's capable of biting you if you you're a bit too clumsy with it so this is uh, I think going to be quite interesting and continues the lineage of those uh, Ferrari challenge cars moving on from our uh, Ferrari to our penultimate car to talk about we have the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Evo 2 so this is the evolution of the Super Trofeo that we've had in ACC from day one and those of you may, um, may remember that when you start off your career mode it's actually one of the first things you drive the Super Trofeo so this is an expansion of that um, 11 liveries featured in game 
name on it um, it's a new car for 2022 in fact pretty much all of these we're talking about are new cars for 2022 which fun fact means that Assetto Corsa's DLC pack alone has more 2022 cars in it than the entirety of Gran Turismo 7 there we go um, so they're running three championships for this car around the world in reality 620 horsepower 570 newton meters of torque and all of that from a 5.2 liter v10 engine and as with the outgoing model it really is an understatement to say it looks an incredibly dramatic car it really does if there's one thing that in my view lamborghini do well and that's make dramatic aggressive looking cars and this nails it in that regard driving it it actually reminded me a lot of the um evo, evo 2 audi r8 i talked about at the beginning of the video in that it does feel very planted it's a very confidence inspiring car and one that really does push you to push it and rewards you as a result so moving on then to our final car we have the um porsche 911 gt3 cup car so this is another variation on the super cup um race series from porsche this one is based on the type 992 generation of the 911 um 16 liveries or livery variants within game um this is from a motorsport point of view an incredibly important car the gt3 super cup lineage um is actually the world's best selling race car and they've sold over 4250 race cars in this kind of historic lineup over time which is a staggering number of race cars to be sold um i mean we're not talking about something that is even by race car standards low volume here this is huge volumes for race cars it to a degree sticks with the traditional um layout it's a six cylinder boxer engine four liter in this particular case 410 brake horsepower and 470 newton meters of torque now on the actual car abs and traction control are optional if you go and look at the tech spec on porsche's porsche motorsports website you'll see that they are optional extras now this version i did notice um, when i was playing around with it only has the abs traction control is off as default and you can hit the button all you want it's not going to change or switch on um, traction control which is interesting and it makes it for a really lively great fun car personally it's my pick of the dlc pack but i've always been a big fan of um the kind of gt3 super cup series of porsche cars and really enjoyed putting this through the single player um against the ai just to see what it was like so that's not to say um that it outshines any of the other cars in here dramatically it's just my personal pick and i have to say all five cars are great additions to assetto corsa competizione it expands the title in an interesting way because a valid criticism for many people is that it is too centered around the gt3 stroke gt4 um meta which is understandable you know given the nature of the game and the series it's dedicated to but adding in four single series cars i think it's a really good change up for acc and adds a lot more to the game and, and per perhaps will make it appeal to a wider audience so from my point of view uh, five cars for a tenner absolute bargain they're great cars great to drive i've really enjoyed it so um let me know what you think about them uh or the dlc itself down in the comments below um and if you've enjoyed this video please do hit the like button and uh, if you want to see more content of this type please do subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded thanks very much for watching take care bye